This video here is going to show you how to enable remote desktop connections on your computer. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the start button here on my computer. And then we're going to right click on the white background here, so not on a drive or removable storage, but just in the background. We're going to go down to properties. And this will bring up uh, the my computer's properties. It'll show you a couple of neat things like whether or not your system is 32-bit or 64, how much RAM is installed, as well as your processor. Uh, you can also do the Windows Experience Index there. So that's kind of neat, but a subject for another time. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see where it says Remote Settings. If you click on that. Alright, so then you've got Remote, remote Desktop here. And you've got three options. Don't Allow of course we don't want that because we're trying to allow it as well as allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop and allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication now as you notice one says less secure and one more secure the basic difference between the two is the less secure one allows it to run from basically any computer so that you could connect to this computer from a Windows Vista computer or a Windows XP computer. However, if you know you're going to be connecting from a Windows 7 computer, I suggest you select the more secure one. If you're going to be selecting or connecting from an older computer, you must select the less secure one. So assuming that all your computers are running Windows 7, we're going to go ahead and select the, the more secure option. And then we simply have to select OK. And that's all you have to do. Now from any other computer, you can go and connect. You can do that by clicking on Start Again. And then we'll just search for Remote. And then there's Remote Desktop Connection. And then in order to actually connect, you can, if you've saved options before, they should appear in the drop down. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and type in the computer name. Now, of course, I can't connect to this computer because this is the one I'm already on. But from another computer, you could type in your computer name, which can be found on this screen here, where the mouse is. Type that in, hit connect, and you should be able to go. In some cases, you may need to enter in a username or password. If it prompts for that, enter in your username or password. All right, that's it.